life in the last uh, 10 years. Um, it, it really started just as a house-focused fo um, destination where you, your main experience was coming to tour the manor house. Um, one of our, our long-term goals was to showcase this gorgeous property. We have a 200-acre nature preserve here, a peninsula um, surrounded by water on three sides. We have the sassafras right at our doorstep, and our history is spanned from the time of the Native Americans, the Takwa Indians, uh, Captain John Smith, um, the, the whole colonial uh, plantation era. Um, a whole history of agriculture is reflected here at Mount Harmon. And we quick, quickly realized the potential to tell its whole story and that its story was so much more than just the house. So um, it's been uh, a, kind of a, a great um, evolution to take Mount Harmon's just kind of house-centered existence and, and really kind of blow open the doors and you know, share, share all the different um, stories we have here with the public. So we call it our time machine. Uh, there are not many um, destinations that take you back in time and that um, most people uh, in our kind of uh, modern era of immediate reward and gratification, you just, you want to get to a site and there you are. Well, we do have our um, almost two-mile lane and it's uh, um, uh, fortunately very beautiful and scenic and it makes you slow down and and kind of take a look at the beauty around you. Our first floor, it's very much the story of a, um, a Georgian colonial plantation house with beautiful uh, reception areas like the one we're sitting in where they would have had um, entertained their guests and, and had wonderful conversations like we're having. And um, uh, they, they also um, uh, lived, uh, Mrs. DuPont lived here for 10 years, so she had some modern amenities like her fabulous bathrooms upstairs, which um, are not colonial, but they are fabulous. She hired a, a New York designer to uh, build the, the sunken marble tubs and the sinks that have, are fitted with amethyst and gold uh, fixtures. So it's really kind of a, a Hollywood, New York, high, high society, um, you know, colonial revival uh, meets colonial revival. And, and we do know that Albert Cruci used uh, 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 diaries from Sidney George Fisher, which referenced a lot of the paneling. Um, he also um, s studied a lot of the other manor houses in the area. The Chinese Chippendale staircase, for instance, in our front hall, is very similar to that of um, a house up on the Bohemia called Bohemia, um, one of the few uh, Chippendale, st Chinese Chippendale staircases. So it's not as if he, he just kind of you know, said, oh, I'm just going to make a very elegant house. He, he, everything here was, was researched and documented, um, so it, it has great significance in that sense. The significance also is the property itself. Um, the, because uh, it, its history really dates um, back to the Takwa Indians, and um, the the whole the wharf the colonial wharf and uh, the, as a the plantation culture that went on here the archaeological significance of the landscape is probably one of the the greatest um, uh, from a purist standpoint one of the greatest significances of the property. People we found more and more want to experience history. They don't want to just read about it or be told about it. And coming to our Revolutionary War reenactment. You, it is living history. You experience it. You are walking through camps that are just as they would have been at the, the Revolutionary era. Um, we've hosted a nas national and regional reenactments, or regional reenactment, reenactments. We host about uh, 500 reenactors on the, the site for the weekend. They have continental and British camps. Uh, we have colonial merchants that fill the whole front circle with incredible array of, of colonial craftsmen and, and vendors selling all kinds of beautiful wares and antiques. Uh, uh, at our national event, uh, we hosted um, about 800 reenactors, and uh, over the course of the weekend had several thousand people here. So really a sensational opportunity to see an event of this caliber right here in the, the Kent Cecil County 
mid-Atlantic region? Um, I, I think um, the biggest thing is that um, we are constantly hearing from people that, oh gosh, we didn't know you were here. I think when people get here, because we're a little off the beaten trail, people are still discovering us. And we, we so want people to know that Mount Harmon is here for the public. It is not, um, you know, it is not a, a private place for only a few. It's really for everyone. Every educator that teaches colonial history should be bringing children here. This is a tremendous place to learn about history. Um, when I was in school, I, you know, history was all dates and it just, it was flat. You come to a place like this and uh, you don't have to drive four hours or five hours to Williamsburg. You can, you know, take a short trip and come, come to Mount Harmon and really turn kids on to history and nature. And that's such a, a rare um, a treat in today's world. So.